Tuesday, September 22nd. Today is my sister's birthday. Happy birthday to you out there. I'm wishing you a wonderful birthday and many more. You're an awesome sister, and I'm so happy to have you. So happy birthday to my sister out there. But anyway, it's... it's See, what time is it? Sunday afternoon. I've been at church most of the morning and just got back a little bit ago and I'm going to be making a very quick and simple recipe for you today. My intentions were to do a huge meal prep today, but um, I have a lot of things going on today that I need to tend to. So what I decided to do is just break it down to one simple recipe for you guys. And this recipe is Easy Broccoli Cheese Soup Weight Watchers. So this is an OG, if I, my kids always say OG this, OG that, I try to be cool. But anyway, this is an OG Weight Watchers recipe. I made this recipe in my mom's kitchen back in early 2000s when I was on Weight Watchers back in the day. So this is a very old recipe and it's easy and quick. I think you can do it in a crock pot. I'm gonna do it on the stove today but it takes very few ingredients and that's why I wanted to do this today. It doesn't take a lot of ingredients, it's quick, and it's perfect for when you're um, having a really busy day like I am today. I wanted to make sure I got a video out to you guys today. We've had a super busy morning at church and I gotta get ready for next week, but I definitely wanted to um, keep my word and do a little video for you guys this weekend. So anyway, let me show you what you're gonna need. Not very much. Watch how quick and easy this is. You're gonna need two bags of frozen broccoli. I bought the broccoli florets because I like the, the flowery part of it, less stemmy. And I got a good brand because I don't mind buying like the Meyer brand type of thing, but a lot of times you get a lot of the stems and I like the florets. So two bags of frozen broccoli. You're gonna need three cans of low sodium chicken broth, um, one can of diced tomatoes and green chilies. Just one of these cans like this and my cats are flying back and forth chasing each other right now. And then you're gonna need some light Velveeta. Um, this is the 2% one, this is the only one I could find. And then I'm adding some pepper to it. So one, two, three, really four ingredients, gotta love it. We're gonna go over to the stove and get this started. This is gonna be out in no time, and we're gonna have some yummy broccoli cheese soup. Okay guys, I'm over at my stove. I've got a large pot here on the stove, and I'm just gonna start adding the chicken broth. I mean, this is so simple. And my can opener is not working very well, so I opened up these cans the best that I can. So it looks like I need to get a new can opener. Mine's not even that old, but we use it so much. So there's one can. Two, and I'm using the Swanson low sodium chicken broth and I meant to tell you guys uh, for the points for this it is three smart points three points plus and two points if you're on the Conquer Cravings momentum program so three three and two so very low points and this is just super easy you're just adding the chicken broth to a large pot diced tomatoes and green chilies I just got these from Meyer oh there's my kitty crying and I gotta get these tomatoes out because this can oops Ava, can you give me a spoon really quick? Sorry guys, I'm having problems with my can opener so I really have to get these tomatoes out. Yeah. So much for a simple video, huh? There's always, behind the scenes when you're doing these cooking videos, if you guys, I should do a video of bloopers one day for you guys. You guys would get a kick out of it. But you get you edit out a lot of the junk, I'll tell you that. Okay, so we got our broth in, we got our tomatoes in, two bags of the bird's eye baby broccoli florets, use whatever you like. These are on sale. Ooh, these look so nice. This is like the florets, which I like because I get tired of those stems in my broccoli. So this looks beautiful. So I've got this on almost high and I am just going to cook this for about 25 minutes until the vegetables get soft and tender and just get everything incorporated. And then we're gonna add the Velveeta cheese and I'm adding a little pepper and that's it. How simple is this to get some soup on your table? It's fall, everybody loves soup. So there we go. Okay, Ava, go ahead and cut up. This is 10 ounces of Velveeta cheese. We're gonna cube it into some small cubes. And um, then we're gonna add that to the soup. Right now, the soup is on the stove, cooking almost on high for about 25 minutes. And we're just gonna prep the cheese. This is so easy, guys. And I gotta tell you, this brings back memories from being in my early 20s. I remember going to a Weight Watchers meeting, and this was like, a big deal recipe back in the day, kind of like two ingredient dough, maybe not that big, but it was kind of like a popular recipe back then. And I was like, oh, I gotta think of some kind of old time recipe and I found it on the internet. So a little old time recipe for you guys, you know I'm nostalgic about stuff like that. Okay, then maybe cut those in half or quarters, Ava? Like, like that? Yep. Okay. Perfect. 
Yep, it's all clean, so don't, no worries at all. So there is that. So it's Sunday, you guys. We're doing chores, washing clothes, catching up for the week, that type of thing. If you saw my video on Friday, I lost 1.1 pounds this past week, which is phenomenal. It's always exciting when that happens. And so hoping to have a good week this week. Need to definitely increase my activity level, but I'm getting there. Good to hear from many of you too. Um, your comments and all that, let me know how you're doing. So Do hope you, you guys are having, yep, go for it. Okay, perfect. So Ava's gonna continue to cut up the cheese and as soon as about 25 minutes rolls by and the vegetables are softened in the pan, we're gonna add the cheese and we'll show you that step. See you in a few. All right, guys, just a little goof. I think I told you I put the soup on high. I reread the instructions. You're supposed to simmer it for 25 minutes. So I turned it down and I've been simmering it for 25 minutes. So now my daughter um, cubed up the cheese. Velveeta melts really easily. And you're just gonna throw it in. And then we're gonna melt it all and start stirring to get this all incorporated. So I'm simmering this. And we're just gonna work on melting the cheese. And this soup does have a little kick to it because of the green chilies and the tomatoes. And it's just, it's flavorful and easy, a very easy way to make broccoli soup. Of course, there's really, really nice recipes out there where you make a roux and it's like just really, really good. But if you're looking for just a quick recipe on how to make some broccoli soup and get some fluids in, this is a great one. So I'm gonna keep stirring this and warming it through. Let me double check my says simmer just until cheese is melted and says that this recipe freezes and refrigerates well and there's 10 servings for this and like i said before let me go over it again with you three smart points three points plus and two points for the old time uh weight watchers program the momentum one two three conquer cravings classic that type of thing so i'm just melting this through and i am going to put it in a bowl and show you how it looks when it's all done okay guys Soup is done. This took less than an hour to do all this. This was so, so simple. Four ingredients, 25, 30 minutes on the stove, and we are done. We've got some beautiful soup here with some broccoli, um, super healthy. Gives you that fix that you're having some kind of cheesy fattening soup, but really it's low points. Um, something you could do if you're not into the tomatoes in it, you could probably add some potatoes to it or mix it up. Use this soup as a base. Just think some broth, some, um, some frozen vegetables, and what else, some Velveeta. And you can kind of make your own different types of soup. This is a great base. So thank you so much for watching today. Just a short little uh, cooking video for you. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you part of my channel. And I've had a few subscribers this week and so happy to have you. And for all you oldies, thank you so much for continuing to watch my channel and your so, such kind comments. I really appreciate it. I wish you guys a great week ahead and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.